What up, y'all? This is your boy, Mr. Downtown Ray Mellon. You're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Orlando for Thursday, October 27th, 2022, delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the Entertainment Report with Ray Mello. That's R-A-Y-M-E-L-O. On Twitter at the Enter Report or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainment Report, and it'll take you to the page. Peacock has released a teaser for the upcoming political thriller, The Independent, which premieres November 2nd on the streaming service. The show takes place in the final weeks of the most consequential presidential election in history, according to a press release from Peacock. Uh, The synopsis reads, America is poised to elect either its first female president, played by Ann Dow, or its first viable independent candidate, played by John Cena. Reporting history as it's made, an idealistic young journalist, Jody Turner-Smith, teams up with her idol, legendary journalist Nick Booker, played by Brian Cox, to uncover a conspiracy that places the fate of the election in the country in their hands. The Independent is directed by Amy Rice, who directed numerous documentaries, including By the People, The Election of Barack Obama, and Hurricane of Fun, The Making of Wet Hot. The teaser features Brian Cox's Nick Booker arguing about a new scoop with Jody Turner-Smith's character. The young adult mystery drama Nancy Drew is ending on The CW with its fourth upcoming season. Showrunners Noga Nam Dow and Melinda uh, Hoos-Taylor said in a statement Wednesday, we're so honored and proud to have brought Nancy Drew's iconic determination, individuality, and resilience to life in a year-long collaboration with creative uh, talents in front of the camera, behind the scenes, and among our studio and network partners. Our hearts are full of gratitude, knowing that we are able to bring this chapter to a close with inten- inten- um, intentionality, inclusivity, and kindness. And of course, plenty of sleuthing twists, supernatural scares, and star crossed romance along the way. We are especially indebted to our wonderful fan community, whose connection with our themes and stories has meant the world to us. Season four will be a worthy and resonant payoff for their continued love and support. Kennedy McCann, Scott Wolf, Leah Lewis, Madison Jazani, Tino Kasim, Alex Saxon, and Riley Smith star in the series, which premiered in 2019. No air date for the final season has been announced yet. Adult animated series based on the 2016 film Sausage Party is now in production and expected to stream on Prime Video in 2024. Seth Rogen, Kristen Wiig, Michael Cera, David Crimsholz, and Edward Norton, who lent their voices to the characters in the movie, are returning for the TV show. Will Forte, Sam Richardson, Natasha Rothwell, and Yazir Lester have also joined the vocal ensemble. Uh, executive producers Brogan and Evan Goldberg said in a statement Wednesday, film used to be the superior art form for television, and we're humbly reached the pinnacle of what we can achieve with film in our remarkable oops, saw, opus, Sausage Fest. But now that the film is completely dead and TV is the forever king of entertainment, we decided to continue the epic adventure of our culinary crew in the soon-to-be legendary televised masterpiece, Sausage Party Futopia. It's got all the heart, double the puns, and triple the food on food sex. In other words, it's exactly what the world needs right now. Um, Ariel Shafir and Kyle Hunter, who co-wrote the movie with Rogan and Goldberg, serves as a showrunner for the series. Plot details have not been revealed yet. Vampire Diaries, Cat... Uh, Graham and former talk show host Jerry Springer became the latest celebrities cut from the Mass Singer competition Wednesday night. Graham was dressed as a robot and Springer wore a, be- a Beatle costume for the Fox show. Other stars previously eliminated in season 8 included Gloria Gaynor, Mario Cantone, William Shatner, Eric Idle, Chris Kilpatrick, Jeff Dunham, Montel Jordan, Christopher Knight, uh, Mike Lookinland, uh, Barry Williams, and Damon John. Nick Cannon hosts the show. Nicole Schlesinger, King Jean, Jenny McCarthy, Wahlberg, and Robin Thicke are the judges. Speaking of Nick Cannon, 
He announced that he's expecting another baby with model Elisa Scott. Scott announced the pregnancy via an Instagram post showing off her baby bump, and E.T. confirmed that Cannon is the father. Cannon and Scott experienced tragedy last year when their son, Zen, died from brain cancer at, the, at five months old. Cannon faced controversy following anti-Semitic comments he made on his YouTube show, Cannon Class, in 2020. He was subsequently fired from his comedy improv show, While and Out. Cannon has fathered children with multiple women in recent years. Uh, singer Mariah Carey and Cannon, who were married from 2008 to 2016, had twins Memorial Moroccan in 2011. Reality star uh, Brie Tessie gave birth to Cannon's son, Legendary, in 2022. Photographer Anisha Cole gave birth to Cannon's daughter Onyx um, Ice Cole Cannon in 2022. Abby De La Rosa gave birth to Cannon's second set of twins, Zion Mixolydian and Zillion Air, in 2021. De La Rosa and Cannon are expecting their third child this October. Brittany Bell has three children with Cannon. Uh, Golden Sage, born in 2017, Powerful Queen, born in 2022, and Rise Messiah, born in 2022. The pair are expecting a fourth child. Cannon told E.T. last month, it's not as difficult as people think it would be, but I understand their concerns because it's a very unorthodox scenario. I dedicate probably my entire day to my children. Luckily, we are in a world where I'm blessed with the opportunity. Comedian Kurt Braunhaler is back with his second full-length special, Perfectly Stupid, and the veteran comic says the COVID-19 pandemic put several wrinkles into the development process. Pretty Perfectly Stupid, which premieres Thursday on Moment, will be available on demand starting November 16th and on YouTube on December 16th, featuring the funny man's take on fatherhood, growing a Catholic, and driving away with the gas pump hose still in his car. The, f- the special was filmed in the summer 2021, just as entertainment venues were starting to reopen after more than a year being closed because of the COVID-19 pandemic. The conditions during that time made preparing for the taping unusual. Brower, uh, Brown now told UPI in a recent uh, Zoom interview, we usually go on the road for like a couple of months and just like that, run it and run it and run it. This one, we had to kind of conceptually put it together on paper and then just make it sure that it worked when we had the few opportunities to run it. Apple TV Plus has uh, published a teaser for the fourth and final season of M. Night Shyamalan's horror series Servant, along with the release date. The series will return for its fourth and final season January 13th. Follows Sean and Dorothy Turner, portrayed by Toby Kebbell and Lauren Ambrose, a Philadelphia couple who adopt a reborn doll to help them deal with the death of their 13-week-old son. The couple hire Nanny, Leanne Grayson, portrayed by Nell Tiger Free, to care for the doll, which Dorothy believes to be her real child. It soon becomes apparent that there is something sinister about the new Nanny. The teaser features spooky images of Leanne in the Turner home with the words, Every relevation has led to this, the final reckoning you won't want to miss. Witness the epic conclusion. The show promises answers to its mysteries in season four, as the Turner family brownstone continues to crumble, Questions are finally answered. Who is Leanne Grayson and who is the child in their home? Kenan Thompson will return to host the 2022 People Choice Awards. Organizers announced Wednesday that Thompson will host the award show for his second consecutive year. This year's ceremony will take place December 6th at the Barker Hangar in Santa Monica, California. Thompson is nominated for Comedy TV Star of 2022 for his work on Saturday Night Live. The star says, I'm beyond excited to host the People's Choice Awards again this year and celebrate the incredible talent and fans that this show unites. I'm so grateful to be nominated. Shout out to the fans and congratulate to all the nominees. Get ready for round two. Uh, Puerto Rican singer and rapper Bad Bunny leads the 2022 nominees with seven nods, while British singer and actor Harry Styles at six. The pair will compete for Male Artist of 2022, Song of 2022, Album of 2022, and Music of 2022. Luke Combs, Selena Gomez, Lizzo, and Charlie Poof will follow with four nominations each. The People's Choice Awards will air December 6th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on NBC and E. Fans can vote for their favorite stars now through November 9th. 
George R. R. Martin says his book, The Winter, The Winds of Winter, is about three quarters the way done. The 74 year old author gave an update on the book during Tuesday's episode of The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. The Winds of Winter will be the sixth novel in Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire fantasy book series and the first new installment since A Dance with Dragons, released in 2011. The series inspired the HBO show Game of Thrones. On The Late Show, Martin said The Winds of Winter will be the longest book in the series yet. The author said, I'm making progress with the winds of winter, but um, it's still not done yet. He added, it's going to be a very big book. The biggest books so far were the third volume, A Storm of Swords, and the fifth volume, Dance with Dragons. Those were both about 1,500 pages, but this one's going to be bigger than either of that. I think I'm about three quarters of the way done. Martin says that he completed some of the character storylines, but is still working on others. He added, I'm done with some of the characters. The characters all interweave, so I've actually finished with a couple of the characters. I got their whole story, but not others. So I got to finish all that weaving, but it's still going to take me a while. Martin also wrote Fire and Blood, the, eight, the history of the House Targaryen, that inspired the HBO series House of the Dragon. The TV series aired its season one finale on Sunday. In the wake of the show's finale, Martin released the book The Rise of the Dragon, an illustrated history of the Tigerian dynasty, a visual history of the House Tigerian, on Tuesday. The athletic shoe company Skechers said Yee, formerly known as Kanye West, were escorted from one of its Los Angeles offices after the fallen musician arrived unannounced and was filming without authorization. In a statement, the company said two of its executives escorted West and others with him from the building following a brief conversation on Wednesday. They said uh, West showed up unannounced and uninvited. The company added that it was not considering nor had any intention of working with the embattled rapper and fashion designer who has been thrust into controversy over a series of anti-Semitic comments he made in the past few weeks. West has been losing business partners, sponsors, and, represented, and representation following a series of recent media appearances during which he espoused anti-Semitism, including anti-Semitic troops and conspiracy theories. He also used his online platforms to disseminate similar messages until he was locked out of his Instagram and Twitter accounts by the social media companies earlier this month. The Anti-Defamation League, an international Jewish non-governmental uh, organization, said West's comments have been embraced by anti-Semitic extremist groups, including White Lives Matter and Goyam Defense League, which have used them to, quote, further their own agendas and inspire new propaganda campaigns. The incident at Skechers occurred a day after Adidas severed its relationship with West, stating it was ending production of his Yeezy branded productions at a cost of some $250 million to its fourth quarter income. The ADL was among those who had called on Adidas to drop West after the shoe company had placed its relationship with him under review in response to him have worn, having worn a White Lives Matter shirt during a Paris Fashion Week earlier this month. After Adidas announced its decision to end uh, business with West, ADL's chief executive Jonathan Greenblatt said that the action sends a powerful message that anti-Semitism and bigotry have no place in society. Audible announced tonight the eight F, uh, artists participating in their Origins series on Wednesday. Origins premieres November 17th on Audible. Billy Idish, Doja Cat, Camilo, Coffee, Toby Nguyen, Flying Lotus, King Princess, and Mickey Glutton will discuss the beginnings of their careers on Origins. The episode will also feature musical performances. It is said in the statement, It was so surprising to me that people thought anything I was creating was dark. Have you listened to the Beatles and While My Guitar Gently Weeps and Yesterday and Lana Del Rey? Doja Cat said in the statement, I am more interested in being my, myself than what others want me to be. I want people to get a real understanding of who I am, and I think Origins will help me help them do that. All eight, um, all eight episodes of Origins are now available on November 17th. South Korean singer Jin is teasing his solo album. 29-year-old K-pop star, a member of the boy band BTS, released a teaser for his debut solo album, The Astronaut, on Wednesday. The video opens with Jin start staring off into the distance in a, in a barren landscape. The camera angle then switches uh, to show the singer looking at the crashed spaceship. Jin previously released an anime logo trailer for the song that shows an astronaut floating in space above Earth. The singer will really officially release the astronaut's single and music video 
Friday following a lyric video October 30th. News broke earlier this month that BTS will take the hiatus until 2025 as the members fulfill their mandatory military service in South Korea and focus on their solo careers. Jin, the oldest member of the group, will be the first to enlist. BTS also consists of RM, Sugar, J-Hope, Jimin, V, and Jungkook. The group made its debut in 2013. But that was back with new music, a new music video. The 34-year-old singer released the video of a song I Drink Wine on Wednesday. The I Drink Wine video shows Adele drinking wine as she floats down a lazy river. The singer eventually puts down the glass. I Drink Wine appears on Adele's fourth studio album, 30, released in November 2021. The album also features the singles Easy On Me and Oh My God. Adele wrote on Instagram, the I Drink Wine video was the first one I shot for this album. I'm really excited for you to see it. Adele said in her One Night with Adele special release ahead of 30 that I Drink Wine referenced her divorce from Simon Konecki and the fact that she stopped drinking during the process. Adele is nominated at the MTV Europe Music Awards, which will take place November 13th, and the American Music Awards, which will be held November 20th. Rihanna will return with new music this week. The 34-year-old singer, actress, and fashion designer will release the song Lift Me Up for the new film Black Panther Wakanda Forever on Friday. Rihanna has shared a snippet from the song Wednesday on Twitter. She captioned the, uh, the post, Lift Me Up, October 28, 2022. The Marvel official Twitter account has teased the news Tuesday with a clip of the movie's title at zero in on an R and the same release date. Black Panther Wakanda Forever opens in theaters November 11th. The film is directed by Ryan Coogler and stars Letitia Wright, Lapithia Nyango, Danny Guerrero, Winston Duke, Dominique Thorne, and Tina Kiretta. Uh, Rihanna is releasing her eighth studio, released her eighth studio album, Anti, in 2016. She has since appeared on the 2017 single Lemon with an ARD and the 2020 song Believe It would party next door. In September, the singer was announced as the headliner for the Super Bowl 57 halftime show, which will take place February 2023. Selena Gomez will no longer appear on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon after coming down with COVID-19. The 30-year-old singer and actress canceled her appearance on the NBC Late Night Talk Show Wednesday. Gomez shared a photo on Instagram stories of herself laying down on a couch while covered in blankets. Uh, she captioned a post, I'm not going to be on Fallon tonight. I ended up getting COVID, but I'm resting and feeling okay. A friendly reminder, COVID is still out there. Get updated on your boosters. I was actually scheduled to get mine this week. Gomez was to promote her Apple TV Plus documentary, The Selena Gomez, My Mind and Me on The Tonight Show. The new film follows Gomez as she finds connection and purpose amid her health issues and struggles with her mental health. Uh, the documentary is directed by Alex Kashian and premieres November 4th on Apple TV Plus. And finally, Zed and Mary Morris performed their single, Make You Say, on The Tonight Show, starring Jimmy Fallon on Tuesday. Morris was wearing a long black sparkly blazer saying, Go ahead, walk away, you're going to miss the way I used to make you say. Oh my God, night and day, you're going to miss the way I used to make you say. Zed, who was wearing a black and white floral shirt, accompanied her on the drums. The single, which dropped in August, is the second collaboration for the pair. In 2018, Zed and Morris recorded the hit, The Middle. Morris released Humble Quest, her third studio album, in March. She is currently on tour in support of the album. Zed recently performed shows in honor of the 10th anniversary of his first album, Clarity, and said he has a new album coming. And that is your entertainment report for Thursday October 27th, 2022. I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Marie Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the entertainment report with Ray Mello. That's R-E-Y-M-E-L-O on Twitter at the enter report or on Instagram at the entertainment report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of the entertainment report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or iHeart phone app search for the entertainment report and it'll take you to the page good night and god bless you all